Shake it, shake it. It is time. We have a bunch of things going on in the world of Python on hardware. First up, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to uh, Mitsukaru, who sent us this beautiful thank you note which in, a, in these presents. So there is a new Circuit Python and Moo book in Japan. We hope to have copies of it in our store, even though it's not translated yet. But here is some of the things that were sent over. We're going to show it on the overhead in a second. But take a look. We got a shirt, we got a book, and we got this neat uh, pinout and folder. So let's go to the overhead. Okay. And uh, here's this, got this lovely note. letter. Thank you, Mitsuharu Aoyama. Yeah. Every friend I've had in Japan has always sent beautiful hand handwritten notes. This is beautiful things. paper yeah. too. So, lovely. Uh, yeah, and then there's this shirt. Okay, so this is um, the shirt. So when we go to the next uh, Miku costume yeah, party. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to the main screen right now and I'll hold okay, it. Hold the it. Shirt. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of big. So this is the shirt. It's the book. And you can see Circuit. Python oh, on the back on there. it's got like this. Yeah, neat, and then there's. This cyber pattern. Yeah. This is a nice shirt. And then we'll go back to the overhead. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's cool. So, you know, as we've been working on Circuit Python for a few years, this is exactly the cover. Of uh, like one of the first books I wanted, like this. This is in my mind. This is like you know, this would be yeah. Really no, it's neat. like magic, and there's like color, yeah. and, and she's like sees the possibility of like math. Yeah. So and here's science. the book, um, and so we should have this in the store pretty soon. Or, yeah, this is so cool. Or we'll cool. just buy a bunch of copies because we want to support. And the there's author. just a beautiful typesetting. Yeah. And um, lots of projects, and this is just super neat, and I, I like it because it's just like. I think this person realized, like, wow, like, you can actually do a lot of stuff with Python um, using the Circuit Playground. So this is, this is really neat. Okay. Next cool. up. And then, yeah. This Lessons sheet. learn from building a custom circuit board. So Thea Flowers made this excellent blog post about what it was like to make a board from scratch. And then this, it was for this specific project. So I'm going to show a little video of this. Serpente slithers around the web. Les did an excellent article about Circuit Python on this new board, and this was from Arturo. This is Serpente, and this will give you an idea of yet another board in the menagerie of boards that's coming out. Um, this What's was, a group of snakes called? I don't know what uh, a group of snakes. Someone will put it in the chat. I remember because I was a like nest? thinking of names. Yeah. yeah, a gaggle or something. Um, this is a Blinka. Circuit Python snake with a real Python. Okay. This is Ralph the Python. Good. Okay. Euro Python 2019. All the videos are posted. We posted links to these if you want to watch talks from Radomir with game development and Circuit Python. And Toll made Moo. Tools of the trade, the making of a code editor. Florian building logistical applications with MicroPython and ESP32 microcontrollers. And then Ben talked about AstroPy, Python on the International Space Station. So all those videos Good and more. Good stuff. We scoured them to see which ones had something on Python on hardware. A lot of them did. We have the playlist linked in the newsletter and on our site. Feather takes flight with the Wyo Lite RIS-5 ESP8266 at C. This is yet another Feather-based board, Feather format board. And now it has a RISC V tip. We will be checking it out. We will have our own RISC V stuff. We are patiently waiting to find just the right chip so you have the best possible experience if you're going to be doing stuff in the RISC. We take the risk for you. Next up, this is a very cool uh, Groot upgraded project that when you put your hand in it, Groot makes a better and different now sound with speaker. than the built-in one. Next up, this is... The Cedar Grove String Car M0 Express, almost ready for prime time. You can see all the different iterations from 2014 Trinket to AT Tiny 85. I thought it was like, I do string cars. This is string car. <laughs> like, what this is a dedication. It's a string car. So dedicated. This is a very cool homemade laser cut sign that someone made for a book. And this is Emily in the Key of Code. It's a cool coding book for kids, but it also uh, is a circuit Python project that lights up, and I believe the author is traveling with this right now. Brian Sedacious, who was on the show and tell, was showing off some of the custom boards that he had made at Osh Park with this cool like after dark theme. Um, 
this is for a keyboard and uh, we posted this in the newsletter and then if you want to watch what this actually does you can check out the show until later. Dot, dot stars. Yeah. This is a Monster Mass project. This is Day of the Dead photo frame. So you get beautiful art and then you can just use the Monster Mask and give that as a gift and more. Um, also, CircuitPython BLE client server tutorial. This is uh, going to be on our learn system soon, but if you want to get a preview of it and watch the video and learn how to do all this, we have that in our newsletter and more. Amy is doing a lot of cool cosplay stuff. She has a, a short video, so I thought I would just play it and you can see what Amy's doing with CircuitPython for cosplaying this really neat 3D printing um, project that she did. Okay, long overdue of how I did my shoulder pauldrons for my Ursula cosplay. Um, I designed and 3D printed these and they're attached in one piece. They're hollow and they're printed in uh, HTPLA. Uh, filament on the inside I actually spray paint with a uh, engine filament, engine filament, engine spray paint because the engine spray paint is for a high heat, so I was kind of a little bit worried about the fog and some of the electronics. Um, so everything had to be wireless and had to be able to dress myself. So everything fits on like that. All the electronics and everything are completely wireless and hide in my shoulders. Um, I use Spoon Makes Cause Cloud as the base for the fog machine. And then the Arduino Gemma, um, and I coated that in CircuitPython and each eye has um, some NeoPixels as well. And this is a wireless receiver and I designed and 3D printed this little bone pin so whenever people would uh, go ahead and sign the scroll, it actually turns on the fog machine. And next up, this is a really neat feather-based project. Every time you commit code on GitHub, the beanie will spin. Zoom! <laughs> this is a update to the Halloween M4 capacitive touch fan control. This is a new behavior, you hit it, and then this rainbow All right. out. Side light NeoPixels. Yeah. And then maybe, Lady Anna, maybe you can tell me what this is. This is a CircuitPython SOM. What are yeah, these? Yeah, so this is like a, a, a system on module. So like, you know, we have cellular modules and Wi-Fi modules that are like this. And somebody's like, well, I want to make a CircuitPython one. So when you solder this onto your PCB, you kind of get a full CircuitPython system with um, the SAMD51, with some flash memory, with the power management. So it's a kind of easy way, and like a NeoPixel, so you can just like stuff this onto a board, and especially if you're somebody who doesn't like fine pitch uh, surface mount, this could make it really easy to add uh, CircuitPython and cool. 7051. Okay. Nina is making a jacket controller in CircuitPython. The OLED display will show the active pattern, and three tiny buttons let you switch between the patterns, toggle and brightness. Use uses Adafruit Feather M4, OLED Feather Wing, and a... 2,000 milliamp hour LiPo battery, and of course, CircuitPython. Uh, this person's dad was having a birthday, so they're like, let's make this. This is um, a Mike Wazowski. I guess it's a character yeah. from a movie or yeah. game, I don't know. But it looks cool. This is a monster mask eyeball box that watches you. Can you get inside that? This is a Monster Mask project that uses the grid eye, so it detects heat, which is usually a person, and the eyes move along with the person. So we'll have this guide up soon, and uh, you can also see the current state of the guide in the video that's on this person's site. And then next up, this is Aaron's project. This uses all sorts of things in the Monster Mask, including it's a eyes and the servos and more. This is the ESP boy. This was entered in the Hackaday Prize. So check it out. It's a cool micro Python gaming device. And then these, you know about these because you're working on these with Yeah, Brian. these are some Stemma QT sensors uh, that we're coming out with soon from some from ST, the LSM uh, 303 and uh, LSM 6 off and also the BMA 456, which is a kind of a neat sensor that's accelerometer, but it has a step detection. Yeah, uh, built into it. Kind of okay, there is more updates on the No Solder project for an app control Python power animated necktie with Circuit Playground Express Blue Fruit. This is Professor John. Thank you for putting this up. There's code and more. Check it out. It is one of the neatest projects. We played the full video like last week or so. Um, we're getting pretty far. This is a direct uh, photo from my other phone. This is using Blue Fruit and a gizmo and a Circuit Playground. Express Blue Fruit, 
and you're able to take a, a photo that was in your camera, which that was mine, uh, from my phone, and I zipped it over and we were able to show it almost instantly. We just did a demo a few minutes ago. And uh, this is now in the App Store, so you can do, you can do this like right now. For October, take a look at our GitHub repo. We're opening up lots of issues and putting out things for people to follow along. If you want to help make CircuitPython better, Great you beginner can do that. issues. A lot of them, if yeah. you're your first time doing GitHub PRs, um, this is an excellent time to check it out and we'll help you as well. We also have guides on how to use GitHub and how to submit PRs yep. and contribute. So if you're looking to get that t shirt, uh, you can probably do that. Just uh, check out what we've got in our Hacktober tag on GitHub. So in addition to paying all the people at Adafruit, um, when we have a little bit of extra money, we donated to the PSF and they sent this really nice uh, email and they said, by the way, if you can help get the word out, this will help us. So I'm helping to get the word out. Um, if you support the PSF by donating, it helps fund workshops, conferences, pays meetup fees. They can't do this without your financial support. Um, they have an auto pay thing that helps donate a little bit. If you're using Python a lot, um, these are the folks who make that happen. So please consider doing that. And that is the Python on Hardware News for the week. Yay, thank you, Unicorn Blinka.